so good morning all and welcome back to another video the exposure is still way too high <laughs> um, I'm in this video as you can probably tell I'm going to see a van uh, it's not an Aveco but it is an old Merc it needs a bit of work um, yeah I'll show you once I've seen the van I'm going to see the van I'm just about to leave uh, it's two and a half hours away so it's quite far um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to chat to the guy about it because he's done some work on it already but it needs a bit more a bit of welding, standard uh, but it has all the body panels that need welding onto it it's pretty much a half project so I just need to finish it off get it on the road and bingo um, but obviously nothing will be as simple as that um, but I'm thinking yeah it would be a good little project I've always wanted one it is a single axle, a single wheel and the back is not twin wheel which is was something I did want, but it is a Luton. Uh, it's a big Luton. I might try and small, make it smaller if I can. But yeah, once I'm gonna go see it. I'll film what I can, probably on my phone to not be massive. But then I'll show you the pictures on Marketplace because there's some decent pictures. Um, but it's been up there for a while, so he's obviously struggling to sell it. It's 1,300 pounds. <laughs> it's been off the road for three years. I think it'll be a good project, and I'd love to do it. And you know, at the end of the day. It's not that rotten. I've seen bits on the chassis from the underside. Uh, the chassis is fine. It's literally just um, needs a bit of welding in one of the foot well foot steps. You know what are, what are they called? Yeah, foot wells. I don't know what they're called. Um, and then just needs a bodies body panels putting on. I bought a welder already because I knew I wanted to weld, and I knew whatever van I had, be it rusty or not, down the line it will need some welding eventually. But yeah, it'll be a project van as well as a camper. Uh, as well as a self build so I'll be building it as well as doing it up which I've seen loads of people do like Ash he welded his van before he did it I mean obviously CJ's done so much to his van um, I follow In Ruby We Go which is a very similar van it's a single wheel three and a half ton which is why I want this van because it's a Merc that's three and a half ton because obviously I can't drive over three and a half ton uh, and it's also got massive boxing back so it's a very similar van their van and they did a lot of work to their van got loads of welding they had to buy the panels though that's the thing the advantage of this van I'm going to see is it's already had the panels bought sprayed primered not actually properly painted but yeah so yeah the guy's done a bit of work on it already so yeah well let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, but yeah on with the video and let's go see this van So, hello everyone. Um, I'm just about to leave the place where the van is. The van is over there in the corner. This guy is very sound. <laughs> he's really cool. He was going to take it to Portugal, um, but plans changed. Uh, and he's got a really cool car. <laughs> uh, I reckon I'm going to get it. Um, considering in Ruby we go on Instagram, have mm. a very similar van, which is a Luton. Um, and I would look back at their pictures and the rust on theirs was even worse. So it's well fixable. There's just a bit of rust. Um, around the wheel arches and uh, the front um, bumper mount uh, is ruined but all the panels are there he's bought everything to do it and uh, yeah it's really it's a cool place there as well there's lots of cool bands as, as you saw when I showed up um, but now I'm about to drive to a little spot to meet Aiden and Biff uh, in their muck um, but yeah I'm going to have a think about this van show it to a few people but I'm probably going to get it the box is big, but it isn't as big as it looked in the pictures, because it looks massive in the pictures. It's a good size, it is big, but it's not like huge, huge. Hard to explain. But yeah, I'm about to leave. Um, and as I say, this guy's pretty cool. I've um, just been chatting for, I think I've been here like three hours now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's definitely a good place. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you at my park up later. edited this video because um, mainly it was time lapses so it didn't take very long uh, up to this point and I couldn't remember where I was at so it's good I edited that first uh, I never showed you some pictures so these are the Facebook marketplace pictures so you can see a nice big box it's missing this little bit around the indicator but the uh, all the other the bonnet and the front grille um, and that wing the driver's wing uh, are all new. He's welded the bottom of the passenger door. There you are. Uh, oh no, that's the new wing because that's the driver's door. Uh, and then the passenger door, uh, he's put a new bottom on that. That's why he's changed the colour of that. And this, uh, the other wing, he's um, painted. It doesn't come with the seats, sadly. Um, the drop well, as I said, I'm going to lift. I may try and shorten the box, I'm very tempted. If I were, I wouldn't put this back back on because it would be too hard. I'd just create a new back. Uh, that's a sunrise picture. So obviously it looks like a really, really big box when you look at it like that. But it's not massive, massive. Um, I mean, it's a good size. I'd say the back is probably probably about four to five meters. So my, my guess from looking at it is it's not any longer than a long wheelbase Iveco daily. There's a few bits of rust, this is the worst bit, it's in the chassis but it's literally just this bit concentrated and that is a flat panel so you just need to fabricate this sort of triangular shape and weld that on, obviously clean it all back and stuff uh, and find the good metal. But other than that it's all bodywork. This is the other chassis member and it's solid. Um, That is a bit of weld behind the leaf spring, so, but it, it looks like it's solid, so I'm confident that that's okay. Uh, this is just a bolt loosely on, it's like an M8, I'm going to swap these out for like M10 or 12, um, and it's also missing one or two. And then that is behind the seats, there is one bit that's rusty, but the rest is all solid. In the cab floor, I did look under all the matting, there is a tiny bit on one of the windscreen seals that's a bit rusty, but the windscreen itself is fine. My neighbour has an old 609, the old shape, uh, the T2, and he had to take out the whole windscreen and redo all that. And I think in Ruby we go had to as well. Brand new bonnet, all painted up, little bit of rust at the bottom of the uh, driver's front window, the front front one, the one that you see out the wing mirror from, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> uh, a little bit more rust at the bottom of the passenger panel, uh, above the wing just there. Uh, there's a hole in there, so it does need a bit of a fabricating panel. Um, oh, that's that's above one of the leaky bits, and you can see daylight through it. So, yeah, it'd be pretty. And if I shorten the box, it won't be a problem. This is it's a ply box. Another reason why I want to shorten it uh, is because it will take some of the ply off, so it'll be lighter, and there'll be smaller space, so there'll be less to fill it, which means it should be lighter. So, yeah. There are all the new panels it comes with uh, and including a footwell in the back there uh, which is for that and then the interior it's all solid done 250k which is nothing most of these vans you find nowadays done over 300 I've seen what a couple on 600 I mean so 700 um, I mean that's the other footwell it's fine that's the chassis there's some scabs of rust but nothing major and then that's the underside. It is pretty clean in general. Um, 
and that's one of the fuel tank mounting points I think or where the box meets it's a bit of both I think uh, but either way it needs it needs a new one basically someone's attempted to weld it this is inside the passenger wheel and that's where the chassis has the hole in and then it's got new wings to weld on there so that's not a problem um, and yeah it's just a bit crusty but nothing the sh solid the chassis is solid overall apart from that little hole at the front um, and yeah there's Lenny <laughs> so it's a really decent van and honestly I've always wanted one I mean I know I said I wanted a Veco but my parents had an old 814 um, and <laughs> I've just loved them every single time and especially now they're proper classics you really never see them anymore and when you do you know so and I've spoken to him and he's got a few other buyers but they all just want to strip it for parts and or export it to Africa for parts and uh, he said it'd, it'd be a shame um, so he wants me to buy it I pretty much agreed to him that I'm gonna buy it so <laughs> it's pretty much a go-ahead the biggest hurdle I've got so far is the fact that it's going to cost about 600 quid for recovery because it's a big Luton. Um, yeah, which is expensive considering the van's 1300 quid. Um, so if any of you have any ideas, any anything, I don't mind paying 400. I just would prefer to pay a bit less than 600, you know. <clears throat> anything cheaper than 600 would help me out. Um, let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate that. But yeah. And let me know if you like the van. <laughs> and let me know if you think I'm doing a shit idea. Um, but yeah, as I say, in Ruby we go. The whole inside of behind the wing um, had gone. Uh, the scuttle panel and uh, above the top of the bulkhead under the windscreen has all rusted out on there. So this is all solid. I mean, there's bits of crust, catch it early, but it, there's no holes in it at all. I did have a thorough look, especially after looking at their Instagram pictures because I did look when I was there. Um, but yeah, no, solid there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I love it and you know they got theirs back on the road and theirs was loads worse so I have confidence in this one and um, I've got a welder so I'm willing to do it all myself and I'll do what I know is wrong, shove it through an MOT, expect it to fail and if it doesn't, win it. If it does, I'll just fix those bits. I'm willing to get this van back on the road and considering it's so cheap my budget for a van to live in was three grand. At the end of the day if I do have to spend the 600 to get it recovered I will but I would prefer something a bit cheaper considering it is half the value of the van or well, well, half the cost of the van it's probably valued quite a bit more actually so yeah um, that's going to be it for this video though sorry it's a bit of a boring talky bit at the end but um, I just wanted to sort of show you the van properly because you never really got to see it um, yeah but the next video you never know it might be here so yeah but if you did like the video be sure to give it a like drop a comment down below what you think about this video and uh, if you're not subscribed, stay tuned because you may see a big project coming. A restoration project even now. <laughs> I've got myself into a restoration project. And uh, hit the bell icon so you know when I upload. I'll see you next week.